menu in Blender. You'll excuse me if I'm speaking kind of quietly. My girlfriend had to stay up all night for a doctor's appointment this morning. Um, she's taking a nap now, so I just obviously don't want to wake her up. Um, but regardless, let's talk about the quick favorites menu. Um, in one of my last videos, Sir Possum pointed out that I was doing some stuff in the quick favorites menu that I wasn't explaining. And to someone that's not familiar with the somewhat complicated intricacies of Blender, that could be confusing. I apologize for not clarifying these things earlier, um, so I'm just going to go ahead and quickly show you how the Quick Favorites menu works. And you can bring up the Quick Favorites menu with Q, and you can add essentially anything to this menu. Um, anything at all. Um, you can just right click on it. The mouse is acting funky. There we go. Alright, you can just right click on anything. For example, paste objects here. objects it's been added to that quick favorites menu you can also right click on something in the quick favorites menu and then click remove from quick favorites and then it will no longer be in your quick favorites menu um, so as you can see that's gone now another advantage of the quick favorites menu is that you can assign a shortcut to something so for example with this face orientation um, overlay here I could just right click on that and click assign shortcut and then I could type in a shortcut for just making that happen with the key press instead of having to pull up that quick favorites menu. The quick favorites menu also has different options based on um, what mode you're in. So for example if I switch into edit mode you'll see that I now have different options in my quick favorite menu. Um, this is super super useful. But it is just important to bear in mind when you're adding something to the Quick Favorites menu, be aware of what mode you're in um, so that you can ensure that you're adding it to the right mode. But that's really about it. I mean, it's not terribly complicated. There is one other thing probably important to show, and that is how can you save the Quick Favorites menu? Because um, by the way Blender is set up, when you open a new Blend file, your Quick Favorites will have been cleared quick favorites are I think they're supposed to be used project by project but me personally I have a few quick favorites that I like having for every project and so the way you can save that is stop that go to edit preferences and then go down here to this and this and then click save preferences and um, this will save all of your preferences but it will also save your quick favorite menu um, I don't know why it doesn't tell you that but it is that's that's how you save the quick favorite menu let me also show you a couple of the things that I think are really important to have in the quick favorite menu. So, face orientation overlay. Um, this is how you can see if your faces are facing the right way or if they've been inverted. Um, if you watched my texture painting video, you'll know that if your faces are inverted, if the normals are facing the wrong way, your texture painting won't work. Um, this also affects shading and modifiers and pretty much everything. Um, if you're having problems, always check face orientation. You can access that, by the way, down here, under face orientation, but I've just added it to quick favorites, so I can just press Q at any time and then pull that up. Um, also, a good one is all transforms. Um, this is a fairly complicated one that people far more professional than me can better explain, but another common problem is that when you scale, move, rotate, etc., you're not applying those transforms. You always want to apply transforms, and um, you can do that by pressing Control A and clicking All Transforms. Again, I've just added that to my Quick Favorites menu. Um, origin to center of mass surface. This is so that if your origin gets moved from the center of the object, you can just recenter it quickly. And again, you can access that from set origin, origin center, mass service. And I just prefer having it in my quick menu. Uh, wireframe shows the wires that can be useful when you're working with subdivision modifiers. And then move, rotate, and scale. I just have those in there in case um, I am using one hand at the moment. Origin to 3D cursor. That's very useful because if you do something like this, then you can just rotate it around where you clicked. Very, very useful. And then you can just set it back to center of mass surface, and it's back the way it should be. Um, edit mode, which you can do with tab. Again, these are just personal.
preferences. Um, transparent, this is a good way to make an HDRI transparent. Yeah. And it will render transparent as well. Soft shadows is for Eevee. Um, that varies based on the case. Auto smooth is for normals. And it will essentially smooth the normals automatically. It's very useful. And then weighted normal. Um, is a good way to smooth objects if you can't smooth them um, using the auto smooth normals over here. So auto smooth normals is this here. Weighted normal gives you a little bit more control over how it works. And in some cases, when you have a really weird, really just broken object with bad topology, uh, weighted normal will save your life. You can find more information about that from other professionals. And I'm just surface level here. Um, in edit mode, I keep a lot more simple. I flip, so this way, if the face orientation is wrong, I can change that quickly. Mark seam and clear seam and unwrap and smart UV project, those are all for UV mapping. And I just like having those on hand because um, they're very convenient and useful for me. That's it. I mean, it's really quite simple to use the quick favorites menu and it's super helpful. Um, I hope this information is helpful and I will be continuing to gather obscure information and putting it together in an easy to understand format. That's the only reason I make these videos, honestly. I, am, I get frustrated by how hard it is to find information. And so I'm just taking the information that I've found in hundreds of different places and trying to put it together in one useful format. So I hope it helps.